in Charlottesville, Barcelona and London, cars are being used to attack innocent people. So we wondered, are our public spaces here safe? The Department of Homeland Security says not really. James Girardi joins the E-team to explain what's being done to change that. When the newly renovated public square opened last year, these types of terrorist attacks weren't really a concern. But in the last several months, there have been vehicle attacks around the world. And just months ago, barricades came down and buses were allowed to drive through public square, one lane in each direction. Now, after studying terror attacks involving vehicles, the Department of Homeland Security is asking the city to improve safety here so that vehicles can't drive into crowds of people. In the meantime, some barriers and large planters like these were put in place to slow traffic. But all of this is not permanent. The group that oversaw renovations to Public Square says the perimeter needs to be retrofitted with permanent fixtures to make sure vehicles can't be driven onto the sidewalk. Additionally, it needs to be done aesthetically. Officials say the millions of dollars in renovations here were strategic and any improvement needs to maintain or enhance the overall appearance of the square. What we want to do is is look to other design features that would be more attractive but also effective so that we complement the space yet preserve the safety of the space. The group plan commission that oversaw Public Square's renovation says they're going to have a more permanent safety plan in place before the end of the year. Their biggest hurdle, though, is going to be securing enough money to make sure that these safety improvements happen quickly. We asked city officials what their plan was to improve safety here along Public Square and answer, answer some of DHS's questions. They declined to comment. For the E-Team, I'm James Girardi.